All right, guys, here's an update on Sydney. I think my last video was a couple months ago. I retract my previous statement with these warmer temperatures. This motherfucker gets hungry. He will launch out and latch onto anything, whatever. I got a little rabbit here for him. I breed rabbits, so it's nice having feed on hand all the time. I don't have any expenses for feed other than growing it myself, so that keeps the cost down. But here we go. I don't really have much to say. Getting to be pretty big. Yeah, I know somebody said something about the size of the tank and his health and whatever. This is a six foot tank. So he's got plenty of room. He can get totally submerged in that pan. He's got a hide in here. That's a, a box that I built that's pretty deep and big. So no issues with his health or the size of this tank yet. When I do upgrade it, it's going to be going out into a different room. It'll be 12 foot enclosure. 12 by 4 by 4, I think I'm going to make it. Sydney just loves these rabbits. Wolf them right down. Usually once he gets past the front legs, it goes down pretty smooth. Kind of a bigger rabbit. I've got some quail too. So once he gets full size, he can scarf down a whole quail, no problem. If you're going to get one of these, you can, kind of fucked up to say, but you can pick up roadkill, whatever. I use uh, trimmings off of chicken, beef, whatever you're not going to use to eat yourself. You know, fish. Sometimes the cichlids get a little overpopulated, so I'll pluck a couple out and feed them to them. Otherwise, it's going to get really expensive to feed one of these things. You just about there, Sid. You got it, bud. <clears throat> he tries to do that, squish, use it to squish it into his mouth, push against other things. Oh, yeah. Take a little breath of air there. Down the hatch, bud. Love the markings on that lower jaw. I've seen most of them do have that. Kind of looks like dinosaur teeth. That's a nice big meal for him. Yeah, he could eat one or two of those a day easy. He or she, I'm not sure the gender of this guy or girl.
stay tuned herpetologists